Hello everybody, my name is Simone Corsi and I'm the manager of the Manchester China Institute here at the University of Manchester. The Manchester China Institute was very recently established thanks to a wonderful donation by um, honorary alumnus Dr. Li Kai Hang. Uh, the main mission of the Institute is to promote uh, mutual understanding in UK-China relations and we do that by facilitating and promoting interdisciplinary research that look at the many different dimensions of uh, China and globalization. And we also work with our um, student community. Um, the University of Manchester hosts um, approximately 5,000 Chinese students and we really believe that um, facilitating and promoting mutual understanding between the, the young minds of the multicultural um, generation of future leaders is key to make the world a better place in the future. I am the manager of the China Institute, so I'm the uh, executive and operational arm of uh, the director, Professor Peter Gris. Um, I help him in and support him developing the institute strategy, uh, extending a network of researchers and businesses, both internally and externally and I look after the implementation of our program of activities. I also have a research background and agenda myself that looks at uh, innovation, R&D and innovation management and policy with a specific focus on China and that, that makes me the, the, the natural interface between the institute and the business school as well as the institute and the business community. I was at, the, at Lancaster University uh, prior to coming here, uh, where I managed for four years their Lancaster China Catalyst program. Prior to that, I, was, uh, I worked as a, as a researcher and as a consultant in both Italy and China uh, for both private and public organizations. Manchester really lured me in for two main uh, reasons. Uh, the first one is the centrality of the city of Manchester in UK-China relations. And the second one was the opportunity to work in an interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary uh, research institute that um, gives me the opportunity to work and interact with scientists and researchers from so many different backgrounds. Beyond my love towards Asia and its many cultures, I was really fascinated uh, by the um, massive and dramatic social and economic changes that China went through over the past 40 years. It reminded me of my parents telling, the, telling me their stories on how they grew up in a booming Italian economies in the 50s and the 60s, uh, something I never experienced growing up in the 80s and the 90s. Um, so I thought that looking at some dimensions of the Chinese economy could really be inspiring. Plus, the food culture in China is really something that you can never have enough of. 